Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. It's currently raining. Gives me a day off. Probably the only time I ever get off. But anyway, we are going to be diving in to find out what's wrong with a washing machine. We've got a problem where it's actually got the drum flopping up and down. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. This is the one here. And she's floppy, floppy. Very floppy. And that's just not the drum. That's the whole thing. So, let's dive into this and find out if it's the spider gear or bearings and seal. Probably best bet would probably be the bearings in the front seal this side there is no seal on the far side so i'll get you all set up on the old giddy -o head and uh yeah we'll dive straight into this one right first thing we have to do and we do have to do it is basically pull it apart like we'd be scrapping it so but anyway we're not going to be scrapping this one if we can repair it it's a whether it's a repairer or a non-repairer. Take these screws out first. We're gonna lay it on its back. We don't need to take much out. Gotta hang on to everything. So let's grab our magnet so we don't lose nothing. Won't be taking no cords out, nothing like that until we know whether we can repair this. Time will tell. So, it is like if you're into the scrapping game and that sort of thing, I might need to put that down here. Still got a project here, I've got to finish that off and make a longer one. So what we have to do here, just on top, before we even think about laying on its back, we have to take the back off, disconnect the cord, take photos so we can reference on where we're going to be, because it could be a while before we know what's going on. It's the best way to do things, taking photos, where wires go, things like that, because the whole drum will probably have to come out anyway, doesn't matter um, whether we're scrapping it or that sort of na nature. So we've got to undo a few hoses and that sort of thing too, so that it can all come apart. We've got to take the front um, all off and that sort of thing, so it can be pulled out and that sort of thing. Um, we've got to even winch the thing up in the air so it doesn't go on the ground to get it off the suspension rods on the bottom. Stabilizer bars, I think they are, they're called. Um, our concrete block, we'll be taking that off because it's just extra weight. But we'll be putting it back on if it's repairable. So let's dive in. It looks like they might have had the belt a bit too far one way. So let's dive in, take the back off. We can put these screws back in with the out. Probably do the same with the other ones. It's a good way of referencing where they go. Oh dear, that is definitely a bearing. There's grease everywhere. So we'll put the screws back so we know where they are when we go to put it back together. It's a good reference that way. We'll have to clean that up. If we're going to repair it, oh, that's got caught on my band-aid. Got caught in the old band-aid. That one there, was there one down the side? No, not there, not there. There was one down the bottom. Thought there was only four. Look at that, I've got a bit of metal on me. I've been grinding all day. So, hmm, best thing to do there, because we've got a earth wire already off by looks like someone's probably already been in here. Um, we might be better off, yes, yeah, so I've got to undo those, might be better off leaving it all connected so I can get it up in the air and uh, take photos that way. So we'll leave it all like that for now, get this concrete block out, we're going to have to lay it on its back, all that sort of jaga. Well, I don't know how to pull these apart, every time I go through one of these over here, 
they're all different. So you just never know. You just know. There's one finished, ready to go out the door. Ah, dear, I think that's a 14. Yes, definitely a 14. I picked up the 15. Can never find me sockets. There's one. Use this, make it a bit lighter straight off the bat. Leave that on there. That onto there. We'll put it up here. Before I get too far ahead, I better put those screws back. That way we know where they go. Oh, they go in the plastic, so oh, yeah, we'll leave them there. Getting ahead, definitely getting ahead. Better take those out, we know where they go. Place everything in where they come from. I may need to use one of those to pull the whole thing up. Oh, maybe not. It's got a hook there and a hook down there. Okay, um, let's lay on the back time. Take the front apart. So, makes it so much easier having a trolley. Just pick it back. Um, I didn't grab my milk crate. Here's my milk crate here. Because you have got it on a trolley, it's easier moved around. On like so. Right, so now take our drawer out. Now sometimes I can get guarantee you. You can see how much soap's left in that. That's probably what caused the seal to go. And also, if it is a spider gear, soap powder, detergents, doesn't matter what it is, will eat your spider gear out. Just a bit of an information for you all. So, what do we got here? We got no screws there, or yes, we got one there. We'll get the one way. Get that off there. That one off there. I could have done this while it was still upright. Could have done all of that while it was still upright. I think I've got to take that off too. Screw there and screw there. We'll put them back in the holes when we're finished. Come out. Come on. There's one. There's two. All right, that's that out. We're not disconnecting no wires off the control board. If we can, we will may be able to yes we can we can we can we'll do that that way it's out of the road put those back in where they belong geez that needs a good clean that there that there we'll get down to taking them out in a minute that way we've only got two screws so far that we don't have to we have to worry about that into there that into there we'll take this bar out probably need it out to bring it upwards sit them in there can't lose them in there and we'll put them back in when we're Taking this bar out. Photo first. Where's my phone? This is so I know which way that bar went. So like I said, it could be a couple of days before I get back to it. Me and my memory, not the best. So that's out. That would usually go scrap metal. Uh, I think it goes in there. Yep, that went in okay. Grab a white one. Don't matter which one, really. In that hole there. Yep, she's going in. Two for the other side. They're all the same size screw. But if you put them back, you know where they are. Because I'll probably have to, like if it does, if, if it is the bearings and that sort of thing, um, 
pair along those plies. I'll have to order them and that sort of thing. I don't like ordering parts prior to that, just in case it's not actually that problem. Uh, screwdriver there. Squeeze it together. Come on, out you come. We just got to get that out of there. Come on. You're only plastic, there you go. It's not well, the conventional way I'd be doing it. I'd just go chop, chop, chop if I'm scrapping it. But I'm being careful just in case it is repairable. Oh, yeah, we probably could do it that way, the way I conventionally do it. Don't want to break things. Don't break it. Don't want to break it. That there. Move my screwdriver away. You're going to come out. Come on. Out you come. I'm gritting my teeth here. <laughs> I don't want to break no clips. Oh, there we go. We got it down. Got it down. We're going to get it out. Probably not. Well, we got some movement. We got movement. There we go. That's that one. And I don't need to photograph this one because they're two different sizes anyway. Come on. Out you come. I'm usually not this careful when it comes down to this stuff but if I can you know what's a set of bearings going to cost me probably oh, 30, 30 to $70 with the seal um, like a genuine one's probably a lot dearer I think I'm not sure there's that one out he's out good yo I wish he'd go away with that motorbike and go somewhere else. Just one of our campers we've got here. Looks just revving it up and revving it up. Starting it, revving it, annoying all the other campers around here. I haven't had no complaints yet, thank goodness. That's that one out. Right, that's the PCB board out the road. Uh, we better make a room here. We're gonna have a lot of parts. A lot of parts. Right, we need to cut that. Actually, we might, yeah, we'll just cut it. Cut it on the tail side. That way we can reuse, recycle. That's that one out of the road. Uh, we've got to get to the seal. Don't break the door. What do we got there? There's a ball or something there. What the devil is in that? Fishing sinker. <laughs> or is it a pearl? Probably an artificial pearl. Or I reckon so. But anyway, um, with your door seal, this one here has got a spring in it. So all you got to do is put a screwdriver in there be careful that you don't actually pierce this rubber because they're expensive definitely over the hundred dollar mark so the best way to do it is just take your rubber with it if you possibly can keep coming along come along to the clips pull it over and it should fall off you've got to get it to come off anyway there we go that's that off put that over there now you can pull your rubber inside, that to there. Now we've got to undo the door lock, uh, undo those two screws. You can leave the door on. We don't need to take the door off at all. If I was actually scrapping it, I'd actually take that cast aluminium piece there. And if you get a problem with your door and you've got screws in it like this one has, and it doesn't want to unlock. I think this one's got the emergency um, 
door duvalaki down the bottom. So if you have a problem with your lock and it's not unlocking, that's how you get these out. You've got to undo your, your rubber. Come out of there. Yeah, this one's got the emergency door lock. So I've got to feed that back inside that anyway. Come out. I need you. I've got to put your screws back, bro. I've got it there somewhere. Here it is. That end of there. That one there. We might be best to take this one off completely. Doesn't want to go in properly. There we go. We'll do that. We'll take this one off completely. That way it's not in the road. Come on, out you come. There we go. Take that off there. That just pops out. Then pull that tab out that way. Then we put it back on so we know which way it went. Like so. Put it in our pile of parts. Move the screwdriver over the road. Grab this one. Start undoing. See the screw there. We should be able to close the door. It's not going to lock. Look, if I didn't get into scrapping and that sort of thing, I wouldn't know how to fix these. That's how I've learned. I think our air compressor's going to go off. It may do. I better go and check it. No, we're all good. I'd already turned it off. That over there, these all look the same. Now, I do need to open that door again. I've got to just check something. No, that's screwed onto that. That comes off that. Does it or doesn't it? No, I've got to undo that screw. Well, like I said, they're not always the same. I'll just sit those all there. That door should come with it. Yep. There's another screw hidden behind the hose. Undo that. Probably have some water left inside this. There we go. Now it should push up, I think. I think. Oop, we're moving the whole thing. There we go. There's one piece coming up. There we go, push it up. Because it's got little clasps on the side to hold the side in, because if it didn't have those, she'd be all flimsy. Is that off? Is it off? Is it off? Come on. Come on. Up a bit more. Jeez, there's a lot of soap there. Damn. Gotta be it. It's got to be it. Why are you not? Oh, come on, plastics. It's fighting me. It's fighting me. Majorly fighting me. There's a clip there. That's that one. Now we should be able to wrangle the other one. There we go. We wrangled that. What's still hanging on to that? Is there another wire, is there? Oh yeah, the door wire. Okay, pull that out of the road. That's out of the road. Sit him upside down. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of parts. A damn lot of parts. I don't need to remove the door, but I will take the um, balance brick out. That's what they are called, they're balance bricks. That's so when your machine's in there vibrating like crazy, 
that they stabilise it. And that's why they've got concrete in there. Uh, I need a 13, was that? I think that was. Or was that a 14? Or did I hang on to that? I can't remember. Or did I put it away? It's still on there. You'd be screaming at me, I bet. You're all screaming at me, saying it's still in it. No, it's a 13. Okay, we've got to get back to doing what we're doing first. Putting screws back. I don't want to lose where I was up to with those screws. Otherwise, I'll have screws everywhere. Nothing worse than having a pile of screws and then you think, well, where do they go? Right, those two last two. So far, we've only got two on the magnet. Because I won't be pulling out the pump. Where's the other one go? Up there. They go there. You leave, I'm leaving them out a bit so we know that they're, they're going to be able to be... Take, have, they have to come out. Ah, uh, got to go a different one for that. Put that with that. That way we know what size that was. Hmm, 13, 13, where are you there? Do, do, do. Just makes it look Lift that up and out. Right, that certainly makes the machine a lot lighter. Right, now we will. I'm wondering. Well, I'm wondering whether I can leave that all in there, just take the front off, undo all the other, find out whether it is the bearings. And if it is, then I'll continue to take uh, the rest out. Because I'm looking at uh, how these suspension rods are, it saves a lot of work. Uh, Got to get to and do that. Undo that part or undo off the pump. Probably off the pump would be better. Per pliers, per pliers. Where's that blue pair? That many in the box. Got to undo up the top two. Uh, take it off there. Get that out of the road. That down to there. Leave the rest intact. That onto that. Take it off the pump. Where's that one? Way around the back around here. Oh, you need a def definitely need a good pair of pliers to do this stuff. No money. <laughs> That's the first thing I look for in a wash machine. You check the filter there to find out if there's any money. Right, we should be able to disconnect that down there with no problems. Uh, but I've got to flip it up to do that. Now, before we even think about flipping it up, I've got to get to undo all of our bolts to get the front off of the wash machine, uh, off the drum I should say, and um, yeah, I'll get some extensions going, get some tools happening, and we'll get that apart. Right yo, let's start rocking and rolling to undo. We will have to do a undo a hose going up that way. It's pretty long this thing. I haven't got a shorter one. Do I have to undo that? No, I don't have to undo that. White section. Oh, that hose is in the road. Come on.
Come on, get it in there. That's it. You're on there, I think. Yep. Come around this way. When these go back together, you don't need to put any seals in because the actual seal is actually still in there. It's like a foamy gasket type of thing. Right, we'll pull that out of there. And we know we're going to put it back. That's the one we've got to take off. Is that it? Oh, I reckon so. Right, get to with the pair of pliers, take that off. This is your water sensor, let you know how much water is in the machine. Got a little diaphragm in it, and it says, okay, that's enough for how much water you want in it. You can go back onto that, that's back down into that. That way I know where it goes. Not second guessing things. That into there. Right, pull that off that. Now this should just come straight off. The springs are actually on the bottom part. Get that out of there. Take all of our bolts out so we don't lose the bloody things. Oh, there we go. May not need to worry about the bolts. They should come with it. That one doesn't want to. Come on, how'd you come? There we go. Put that one back there. They can actually stay on that, really. Now, if you haven't seen inside of a wash machine, front loader, you soon will. Oh, come on, straight out the top. Don't pinch no hose. There we go, got that out, got that out. I'll just sit this over here on our thing. Sit it there, that's out of the road. We don't need to worry about that. Drum could do with a good old wash. It's a bit brown and God knows what, so that's what I'll do if it's repairable. Uh, now we can put it upright. We may not need to worry about, yeah. Yeah, we may not need to worry about taking the whole thing out. Only if the bearings are... Re it is the bearings. Um, so we'll turn it upright. It's probably lay back my way, it will. It's still got the springs on it and that sort of thing. So it's going to want to screw around anyway. Move our crate out of the road. And get that flywheel off. I think that's a 13. Oh, there goes the screw. Magnet, see? <clears throat> Gotta move it out of the rope. Sit it down there. Got those two screws. All right, that's off there. We know where that goes. There's only one bolt. All we have to do, yeah, that belt has been running funny. Very funny. Just give it a turn so we can get the belt off. that I'll get the cord out of the road so you can all see what I'm doing then this should just wobble off should I don't want to break one of these I haven't got another one I'm not buying another one I'd rather just buy bearings oh it's truth there we go that's cast aluminium Right, now we should be able to slide that straight out. Should. Lay it up on its back. Then we'll have a look at the inside, and if it's worthwhile, we'll go a bit further. Have a look at bearing numbers and things like that. Oh, that's made a lot lighter. Have it, getting rid of those balance weights. Oh, screw the light, getting bashed. Right, this should just lift out. 
Gee, she is definitely wobbly. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. You're going to make a liar out of me, aren't you? Okay. Up a bit. That cord got in the road. I'm going to give it a little light tap. Gentle tap with a wooden handle. Not good for the head, head of the hammer. Doesn't matter. Better than burn the end of the shaft up. That is stuck, stuck. Definitely that back bearing. Yeah, she's wobbly as all hell. So I gather, guarantee it's probably the bearings. Okay, we've got to get smarter. Go bigger tools. that onto that. Definitely stuck. He's coming. He's a moving. Moving. Move me barrel out of the road. It's in the road at the moment. What are we going to do? Can't get it out. Baron might be stuck on the shaft. Hmm. Haven't burnt it, which is good. That back bearing needs replacing though. Okay. It's on a bit of an angle, so we'll get a bit more of a swing up. Moved. Oh, get something different now. Yeah, that's about all I got. I reckon I'm taking the bearing out for it to be that far. It's a moving. It's a moving a lot. It's on the ground. It's a roll on the way. <laughs> what do I get? The bear in the whole lot? No. Terrific. It, it is definitely not the spider gear. This is your spider gear. I'll have to get to and get all the dirt out of that. But it looks like it's the seal and some bearings. So she's repairable. So we'll continue on. I don't need to worry about, um, well actually I'll pull it apart. We'll get to and do it. But that needs a good clean. I'll get to and give that the gurney old treatment. Give that a good wash up. Uh, where are we? We'll lay you on the back and have a look at you. So I can see, and everyone else can see. 
this is where it's to the stage where you almost got the whole thing apart. I try not to take any plastic to the scrapyard. That baron is shot. Wow, she's wobbly as in there. Definitely got to replace the seal. She's eaten out down the bottom. She's just yuck. And I'll give that a gurney out too, so she's definitely got to come out. So we'll continue on with this, taking the rest of that out. So I've got to have a look where what the bearing number is and that sort of thing, so I can order parts. Definitely going to be repairing this one. Um, yeah, so what we do with the suspension, the, the um, stabiliser bars, or I'll call them stabiliser bars, we get to squeeze that. I don't need to, but I don't want none of these wet because I'm going to give the gurney and that sort of thing. And we got to tap them out. I need the little hammer. Squeeze it together and get the, the pins out. Should use long nose pliers, really. There we go, pins are in. No punch there, I've got to get a punch. Punch, punch, there we go, flat punch. that into there because we're not taking this over to the pressure washer and that will go into that also like that what do I do with that hammer down here screw my head on oh that clip there that's where the clip is Hit that back up now. Turn it. So I've got a good angle for hanging on to it. Nice flat surface. free from the springs and stuff like that. Just drag that up to that. Ooh, grab that plastic. Put that back into there. That's so it doesn't wear into the metal. Put our spring on back on the top of that, like so. There. Now we're going to do all the wiring on the bottom too. So that's the heavy part. We should be able to tip that up on its face the way it is. Try and turn it like so. So we can take a photo of the wiring diagram. Oh, we're going to cut those cable ties. There's two cable ties down there. I didn't get my side cutters. <laughs> Haven't set my hands. A couple of steps and I've got it. 
I must put two new ones back there. Because I'll give this a wash during the day. Um, while all the bearings are in there, then I'll take the bearings out. So there will be a part two of this. So stay tuned for how I actually take all the bearings out, tell you the number, things like that. Uh, definitely got to take the motor off. It did spin up and that sort of thing, so I know it works, this one. Come on, behave. Do what I want you to do, not what you want to do. There we go, there we go. Don't bugger no heater cores or nothing like that. Right, grab the phone. Photograph that. Put our flashy rasher on. Oh, wrong, that's a gallery. No one wants to look at my gallery. Flash on, flash is on. Because it's dark. We will not need flash because it's bright enough. Mm, taking a good photo, a good angle is the key to all of this. That earth is only off that, that's fine. There's a double earth there. Right, that was on that. We'll connect those up first so we know. Someone's already been at this, like I said. Put that onto there, we're going to have to take them off again, I know that. I'm just putting them on for reference for when I come back to it. That onto there. Right, let's take a snapshot of that so we know where everything goes. Snapshot done. This one here, always take a reference. Done. Now we can pull it all apart. This one here's got a clip inside. Little screwdriver, where are they? Up here. Is that the side it comes from? I think so. No, it's the other side. Yep. So we go this side. There should be a clip in the center down the back. There we go. Here we go. Got it. Yeah. Sweet. Right, this one over here, the earth I put back on, take him off. It's got a little clip in there as well. There we go. What I mean by a little clip, see if I can get close enough for you. This is what I mean by a little clip. Focus, focus. There's a little clip right at the end of my thumb there. You've got to press that in. There we go, you can see it now, right there. And yeah, that's what it is. Even underneath this one here, it's got the same. This one here is just a ordinary plug that goes in. So I've got to find the pin on this one here. There it is, that was easy. Oh, there we go. That's over there. Right, now, the earth on this one would have one too. That to there. Grab that clip. Pull it up. That's off. That's all of our wire out of the road. Now I can pull that right out. And I can get the motor off. Don't need no straps or anything to winch it out. Probably will when I go to put it back together. And that's it there. A dirty thing. It's a dirty looking thing that. Hmm. Anyway, motor off. And that's about it for this one, everyone. Um, we'll get back to when I find out the part uh, for this and I think I've got I think that's about all it needs 
just hit that there. I think, yeah, definitely bearings to be taken out. Uh, what do I need for that? That 10 mil one, which is way up the end here. This is just to take the motor off. Oh, look at that. That one ended. There. Off you come. That's the motor off. And that's back onto that. It's probably a copper motor too. But anyway, that's that. We'll get the carcass out of the road. I might actually take the bearings out now. That way I can give the inside, because all the grease and stuff would have went inside that drum section. Get that over to there. We don't need that now. With those carcasses, usually I um, go as far as that. I leave them as one. Set this up here. Get our tools out of the way. And we'll get that center one out first. And then we'll work on the back one. That's what we need, is what we need. That there, that there. Baron's bugger, so go each side. We need a bit of height. <clears throat> That's better. <laughs> Sounds brutal, but it does the job. They're strong. Cased in an aluminium case, or is it a steel one? This one, this one's a steel one. Can't get them out any other way. We got movement. We got movement. It's on the ground. Well, not technically on the ground, it's on the bench. That's the seal and the bearing out. She definitely buggered. Definitely. That'll give me a chance to wash all inside there as well. Definitely a buggered seal. I wouldn't try to use that again. Yuck. Yucky, yucky. So I've got to get the number for that. Give that a good old wash, same as that seal. Now we've got to get the other one out. That's probably not as easy as it looks. Hmm, how am I going to do that? <laughs> we might have to, because we can't lay this on a flat surface on the back side. Don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll think about it. What the hell, think and cap on and... Uh, but I'll use a couple of pieces of railway iron. That way we can push the bearing down the centre. Give it some support. Jeez, that's greasy in there. Gonna have to use some degreaser on that. Is that gonna be enough? That may be enough. We might have to go a little bit closer. Oh, a little bit closer, or I reckon so. Yep, we'll go a little bit closer. We don't want to crack it. And then have nothing to fix. See, 
Gonna be an easy fix. That should be good. Just got to keep an eye on it. Put them both together. That's pretty close there. That's going to slide around a fair bit though. Oh, get up on top. Grab our punch. We'll go this side first. It's going to work. Oop. Slide it back into place. You always replace the back one as well. That was a miss hit. That's out. Simple as. What crud we got in here? Oh yuck, that's definitely going to need some degrees. Not scared to get the old hands dirty. So, let's find out what the number's going to be for the bearings. Didn't crack it, which is good. Bonus. So. Get a rag, we'll find out. Always the dirty job cleaning these. Here's one number. Hope it's SKF. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that's the inner. 6306RS. That's the number for the bearing. That's for the that's the whole bearing. Or is that one there? No, that might be it there. Might be uh, 25A10. I'll take it to the bearing place and they'll be able to tell me anyway. Because they're... Oh yeah, definitely got a lot of play in that. Definitely a lot of play. That's that one. The seal. Might have to give that a wash. Got a lot of dirt on it. Number there is he? No, NGK. Oh, that's all right. NGK. They. That's a good seal. TCY forty-five. Oh, there it is. There's the number. She's a. 80.05 mil that's the outside and it should have the inside diameter on here as well nine point five I think that's it so I'll have to go to the beer in place and get that yep Right, well that's all cleaned up, ready for the bearings, bearing place to take to. This one here, she's a bit crotty, crotty, crotty. Do away with that part. Definitely dirty. It's always best to replace it with the same size bearings. Same size seal. But she's definitely shot. That's the same as, I don't know, is that the same as that? No, two different ones. That's the 6307-2RS. If you just want to do a Google on that, this one's just got the 6306RS. Hmm. Strange to have the same sort of, almost the same sort of number. But anyway, um, yeah, that's how far we've got so far. Get to and order those parts, get that together. So if you've enjoyed tag along with me on this one, everyone, and you like the fixing part of it, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have a part two on this one. I'm putting it all back together with all the new parts and that sort of thing. So till next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.